Hi, Hi YouTube. YouTube. I'm Joseph Dottillo. And I'm Vincent Dottillo. And today we're going to be hunting the world's possibly most glorious beast, the bear. But not any normal bear. No. What kind of bear will we be hunting today, son? Water bear. Yes, the glorious, misunderstood water bear. That. And what will our tools for hunting be? That is. Show them the tools for hunting. What? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, Careful. Okay. So, come with us while we hunt for water bears. Water bears love to live in mossy places. So we need to go find the wettest moss we can find, okay? Yes! Let's Kevin. do it! We have to go to a mossy place. Yeah, we're going to a mossy place. Come on. Where is moss? Moss? I know exactly where moss is. We're in Oregon. Moss is everywhere. Here, I see some moss. Grab, grab a chunk and put it in. Alright, let's go get moss from somewhere else. So we got a bunch of moss from different spots. And by running back, I, my tummy hurts. Oh no, because you just ate cake. Anyways, <laughs> again. Okay. So we, we got so much moss in that little beaker that we had to split it into three separate things. And now we're going to put some water in each. Okay. So, water bears, they curl up and rest whenever it's not wet enough for them. They can even survive in outer space. They're also called tardigrades. Tardigrades? Yeah, but water bears is a way cooler name for them. So now what I'm doing here is making sure that the, the moss is all getting nice and submerged enough that it'll soak it up. Now we're probably going to end up being gone for more than eight hours and most people recommend that you give it at least eight to 24 hours to soak because that's long enough that the tardigrades all wake up. Well, and that'll I'm give us enough time to think about how we're going to make sure that we don't miss any actually, of them. Actually, guys, I'm actually...
actually going to play Minecraft for eight hours and make a video of it. We don't have the stuff to make Minecraft videos yet. And you wish you could play Minecraft for eight hours straight. But that ain't going to happen. I'm sorry. No Minecraft for eight hours. Dad would get in trouble. Alright, so... Does that look like enough water for everything? It's going to be nice and happy. Yes. Okay. All right, so we will come back tomorrow and look at these to see how things have gone. Okay? Yeah. And then we should be able to look at it under the low magnification microscope and maybe see some. That's after tonight? Uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to keep doing this video. This one's a long one. So tomorrow we'll look at it on the low magnification because we can look inside these petri dishes that way. And then if we find a tardigrade that way, then we should be able to catch him and look at him even closer. Now if we can't find him that way, then what we'll have to do is come up with a way to make our own DIY centrifuge, okay? Okay. Alright, so till tomorrow guys. Thanks for watching! We need to let the moss soak for 8 to 24 hours for our water bears to wake up and start going nom nom nom. They do not eat us. No, not I yet. I figured out, but you should watch another video of us! That's right, so please like and subscribe and be sure to come back tomorrow to see inside the moss with us. Wow. <laughs>